Now, the people that are watching this want to, you know, create value for their organizations or their teams or whatever that is. What is your advice to leaders who want to make that change? What's the one piece of advice you can leave with them? Keep developing yourself and find out how you can develop and encourage your people around yourself to invest in their development self. Don't always leave it up to the company to pay, right? And I would say that that's the best thing I've did. I will always believe that every year I go away somewhere, either in Australia or anywhere in the world, I buy and did buy lots of videos. Obviously, they're over the, out of the road down on, <laughs> on the um, Ten Commandments table, sort of. But, <laughs> but, but I've spent that much on books about newisms and people that, that are creative. And uh, so I always write in my autographs, uh, please keep developing yourself and f or make sure you find out who you are. Sometimes we don't know that. And I, I can tell you now, I'm a, a very different person to what I was at 50, yeah. 22 years ago. And when I was 32 and I got the job at Essendon, totally different. By the time I was 40, I thought I knew lots of everything. And by the time I was 50, I, I found out I knew very little. <laughs> so it's a sort of every one, three, five years, just check in and see. And that'll inspire yourself and your people around you because if you are at the top of the organisation, whether it's NEC or Coles or, you know, whatever, uh, Under Armour, any of the things I'm hanging on me at the moment, <laughs> the deal in the end is you want to be pretty good to stay where you are because there's always somebody coming at you and uh, let them know that you're pretty good too.